time to start a new episode. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgia Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. Let me make sure the volume has been properly adjusted. Uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. Okay. <laughs> We're all done reading each other's poems, right? Uh. <laughs> I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh. Uh. Do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few hours. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? You won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters, and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all. It doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing. Ah, uh, boy. Uh, Monica. Yeah, we're going to have a poetry performance. Each of us is going to choose a poem to recite during the event. How did Monica end up with like another version of like a fake accent that I do? Sayori's putting it on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> oh boy. Sayori, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't, you didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Uh, well, I... Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know? There is no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I... I, I agree with Notsuki. Since when? <laughs> I could never in my life do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Oh, eyes! No, no, Sayori, I get it. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. Yeah, we were really. <laughs> Never would have figured that one out. So I'm sorry. But I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. You know, that is making me think of Rumpled Silkskin from Once Upon a Time. Who who has seen that? Who watching this has seen that? And the more the man the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show anyone what literature is all about. Yeah! Oh boy. It's about expressing your feelings! Being intimate with yourself. Finding new horizons. And having fun. That's right. 
And it's those reasons that we're all in the club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Uh, boy. Um, Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayori looks worried. I think Sayori gets it. Monica, what's... Are you okay? <laughs> I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we could do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... I know, I know, I know. You and Yuri have stage fright, pretty much. Looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Ugh. Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. Alright! Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri, on the other hand... Very dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. <sighs> I, I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> That's everyone! You're the best, Yuri! This club is seriously going to be the death of me. <laughs> oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. Seeing that expression and my expression right before that, uh, Monica? Shh! But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No way! Monica? This is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Oh boy. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? <laughs> of course. Now let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. <clears throat> Monica begins. Mon no, Monica? Who the heck is Monica? That name, that, that, that person right there? Um, no, no, no. We, we replaced Monica with that person. Her name is Monica. Yeah, I know. The name is very similar. We didn't have, we couldn't come up with anything. So somebody shouted up the same name with a different sound. I was like, sure, whatever. <laughs> and we put her in the game, okay? <laughs> Monica, Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before? Or she's simply a natural. How about both? <laughs> I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. That's not so stupid. <laughs> Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the, recit the recitation. Four of us apply. Monica takes a breath. And smiles. That, that was so good, Monica! <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? Uh, I'll go. Next. Whoa! Whoa! Y wow, Yuri. Okay. Woo! Yuri's fired up all of a 
Close at it. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Monica did the spell. Yeah, Monica would not have been able to do that. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It, it's called... After Image of a Crimson Eye. Whoa. Deep. The title itself, D. Wow. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirring, whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her, as if she bewildered even herself. Uh! It's up to me to save this situation. I'm the first to start applying. Standing ovation, <laughs> right? Everyone joins me afterward, and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her. We were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. Well, obviously not, because you're doing it now. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back to her, into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. That's a bit glitchy. Why is it not changing the perspective sometimes? Looks like Yuri is down for the count. I guess I'm next then. Sayuri hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. Uh. <laughs> uh. Sayuri? It's a lot harder than I thought. Do it so easily. Uh, try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting to yourself. That's actually a good way of looking at it. Like in front of a mirror. Or in your own head. It's your poem. It's your poem. So it'll come out the best that way. I see. I see. Okay then. Sayuri so begins her poem. Somehow... It feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori. It's serene and bitter sweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finishes and we apply. I did it! Yay! Okay, Sayori. <laughs> Good job. I, s I blame Amber. <laughs> I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? What, is, what does that even mean? Yeah. Came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. 
but it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's... Well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just kind of embarrassing to do in front of everyone. <laughs> the next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. You don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay! Now, who's next? Natsuki? Huh. Don't make me go before Pink Fun. Okay. Not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let Pink Fox lower everyone's standards a little. <laughs> hey! Rude! Natsuki! It's fine, it's fine. Might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. Actually, probably, yeah. That's something that I'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting. Huh. Anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Eh, well, do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean... Doing it in front of other people will be way easier. How? How? I really legitimately want to know. How is it? How? 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 Monica, could you help me? <laughs> it's been a while since I talked to Monica, okay? When it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. That's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure to pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Gee! Oh, that's... Well, pfft. I thought that was Natsuki, but no, that's me. Jeez. 
Monica, why? I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all the efforts for the club. Makes me really happy. Uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. Okay. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait! I can do this. I can do this. Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica. <sighs> but I'll do my best. Or sorry, Sayori and Monica. Monica ain't here. Monica's been missing. The Kevin's for that. <laughs> Maybe. Or maybe that's a bad thing, I don't know. If it's just for the sake of the club, and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep! Look at you two. Always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. Must be a little nice, though. Well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Pink Fox. You don't have to say it. <sighs> Whatever. Let's go already. Wow. That's kind of a dick attitude to have for something like that. I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori. Sorry, I'm spacing out. Eh, no, no wonder. I don't like where this is going. I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... I, I mean... Sayori fumbles with her words. So... Let's just say that one day, Natsuki asked to walk home with... Oh, shit. question is that you're kind of putting me on the spot here <laughs> oh crap well I mean technically my character is single so I would walk home with Natsuki, but knowing what happens in the story, uh, I don't know. I know I can't prevent what's going to happen. I'm sorry, Sayori. Walking home with Natsuki, huh? Why does the thought of that make me, my heart pound? I mean, I, I think I would be afraid of what she'd do to me if I turned her down. Isn't she so cute and fun to be around? Uh, that has nothing to do with what I just said. <laughs> you admitted it! Oh, shush. Jeez. 
not even any point in speculating something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe. But I just like to think about it. Uh. It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? Okay. Can we not? Can we... Can we not? Uh, need you? Sayori? Can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Is my character an idiot? It's kind of... I mean, even, even the first time I played this, I could kind of tell what was going on by this point. Everyone is different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. That was actually a really smart thing to say. Huh. If you say so. That didn't do anything, did it? No, that didn't do anything. Conversation trails off. I'm left feeling awkward. But it, it was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. If I didn't know what was going on, I'd think it weird too, but the way she asked it? Red flag. That's all I gotta say. I can't just lie to her. But if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. It was still a, th it was still a smart thing to say. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time? I do. <laughs> okay. Natsuki, Natsuki words. I didn't leave up the think, freaking thinking, tinkering, thinking. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Uh, g g give me just a sec. Okay. So, uh. Not broken. Uh, candy. Candy's not on here. I'm literally reading the different things. Nibble? Is that one of them? Yep, nibble. Uh, boop. Duh. Uh, fireflies? Nope. Raindrops? Nope. <laughs> I wish I knew this better. Whistle, perhaps? Yes. Uh, pink. That was a good. <laughs> uh, possibly Papa. Yeah, Papa. Some of these I'm just second guessing. Um. No oh, shoot. Cheer. Nope. Nightgown. That's one of them. Okay. Uh, play? Nope. Lollipop. That one's one of them. That was a given, actually. Uh, silly. That's, that is definitely one of them. No, it's not. Okay. This is why I have a list in front of me. I keep looking up and keep facing out. The, look at the fluffy. Fluffy is definitely one. That was a given. Bunny! <laughs> Hop. Uh, sweet, possibly? Huh, surprisingly, no. Um. Fantasy. There we go. Uh, milk. Possibly sing? Nope. Cute. Cute is definitely one. Candy. <laughs> Some of these are just kind of givens. I will admit that. Whisper is one. So we just did that. Didn't we just do that one? Jump. Jump is one. I mean, for heaven's sake, that was one of the names of her poems. Uh. 
Call? No. Charm. Shoot! Well, don't matter now. Most of them are Natsuki anyway. Uh, Giggle? That was Natsuki. That was Natsuki. Aw, oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry. I just walked in, too. Are you practicing the piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano? It is not a difficult instrument. It, it, er, the reverse. It actually is a pretty difficult instrument to learn, like, that fast. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Fair enough. Ugh. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. Ah! <laughs> I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Huh? Weren't you complaining about it yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. Okay, isn't that something Sayori should be saying? Speaking of, where is she? You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Yeah. Eh. Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on! Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Huh? I didn't say I don't like it. It's just really random and really specific. That's all she's saying. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Monica, guys, there's something you're not telling me. Mon... Wait, Mon Ika. Which one of those means squid? Huh? That's not how you say my name at all. Mon Ika. Yeah, you're right. It's Monica. Mon Ika. It's, Mo it's Monica. Silly. <laughs> Philly Billy. Okay, I am worried though. Where is Sayori? Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm looking up a translator really quick. Okay, so we. Uh, Mon Yeah, because Mon Mon is French. I mean, my come on, em, em, everyone knows that one, but Ika. Hold on. I'm only getting French. Like, I'm trying to look up different things, but I'm... My I Ika apparently is... Flip... Flippino? Fili Filipino. Like, I'm stupid. It's Filipino, but it's just, the, like, the letters TH. That sound. Mon, French. So, either regardless, yeah, that doesn't make sense in translation. What are you thinking? Freaking Natsuki? You tried. You tried, though. Ah, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> I'm fine. Reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me? 
Where is Sayori anyway? Where is Sayori anyway? Didn't I say this earlier? I'm a bit worried now. Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. Okay, even more worried. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Uh. Huh? You're spacing out again. Yeah, but this is different. <laughs> Sorry. I don't like where this is going. I did it the first time, and I don't like it this time. Don't mind me. Uh, BS. You can go talk to everyone else. How about no? Is everything all right? Uh, what do you think, Diphthong? Of course! B.S. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little... Uh... It just feels like you're a little off. Did Monica say something to you? Sorry for assuming things. Jeez! You worry too much about me! Is that such a bad thing? Okay. Bad. Bad, Sayori. Bad. No. Sayori shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. And this is where my character starts being an idiot. Well, alright. If you say so. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed, with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica. Oh no, this time it's Monica again. Who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Hey folks, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but... Have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? I'm gonna give you the death glare and just look. What did you do? What did you do, Monica? Okay, I'm done with the name. Thing. But, jeez. Welcome to the start of things that really start to get timid in this story. Faintly, but still. Ugh. Kind of wish Pink Fox was here to see this. I'll probably show her the video later on. Once it's actually uploaded. Or while I'm reviewing it. I don't know. One way or the other. Monica. I'm gonna chew you out next time. For right now, though, I'm gonna leave this video here. So, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of... Doki Doki! Literature Club. Uh, if you liked it, push that like button. And so far, you can't see it anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a suggestion for a visual novel you'd like to see on here? Let me know in the comments below. Or if you want to check out what I've done prior to this one, click the link in the bottom right hand corner and the train will take you to that destination. Or the link across my head here where the train will take you to any stops you might have missed on this ride so far. we got a long ways to go before things really start to pick up because we're going to be helping everyone to get the best end of this game. Outside of the side stories, which we gotta do as well. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm gonna head off. Thanks again for watching this video, guys, and I hope to see, and we hope to see all of you in another ride. Bye.